Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday School. Let us pray. I know you see who's behind me. <laughs> Let's pray. Father Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to learn at your feet. We ask that you give us teachable hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that Father Lord, that we'll be able to learn and spread the word even after today's uh, Bible study. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday School. Let's begin. Ooh, very interesting. What do you think, Pastor? The Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel. Now, Pastor, I'm honored today because Pastor is going to be Join me and helping me out with this teaching. Yay! We're reading from Genesis 11, 1 to 9. Let's begin. Go ahead, Pastor. The Bible says, Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come. Let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language. Let us go down there and confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel. Because there, the Lord confused the language of all the earth. And from there, the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. All right. It is question time. Are you ready, Daddy? Yes, I'm ready. What were the people building? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. What were they building? I heard you. Yes, they were building a tower to reach heaven. Very, very good. Question number two. Why were they building a tower? That's a tough one. I know. Why were they building a tower? So many reasons. Mm -hmm. They had so many motives, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at some of things I listed. To make a name for themselves. Okay. Do you agree? Yes. yes okay. Yes. Uh, to reach heaven, like e easy access. Mm. Okay. Pastor, yes. I know you're a man full of wisdom. So what else? Is there anything else I might be missing? Is there a mystery in this verse 4? <laughs> but I'd like you to tell us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Question number three before we get ourselves in trouble. Okay, question number three. What did God do to stop the people? Wow. What did he do? What did he do? Yes, he confused their language. He confused the land. What can happen if they confuse 
the language. Mm-hmm. I can hear you in that because I can still understand Yoruba. Uh, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, get past some puppy. I hear that one. Okay, you heard that one? Mm-hmm. Like, he a baba. And speaking in tongues. <laughs> Basically, you don't understand each other. If someone just imagine being at a place at school and people are talking, you know, and you don't understand each other, you can't work together. If you want them to give you cell phone and they don't understand what you mean by cell phone, they cannot work with you, right? That's cool. It'll be difficult. They just difficult. get they just get agitated. So the people were agitated over here. You can see them confused and they had to leave. Oh, by the way, that's how we all speak different languages, right? Mm -hmm. That's the mystery behind it. All right. Oh, we have another one saying, God scattered them abroad, of course. And that's how we have all these different countries. Interesting. All right. Question number four. Why don't you think God want the people to build the tower? Because it wasn't yet time for them to come to heaven. Okay, I love that. What else? That's that. um, because that was not how you get to heaven. Exactly. That's not how you get to heaven. Okay, let me see some of my answer, answers over here. I said they were trying to reach heaven. And of course, it wasn't time for them to reach heaven. I put over there, they were prideful because they wanted to make a name for themselves. What was, the, what was the motive behind it, you know? They were prideful. Another thing, they, they had a bad motive, okay? They're trying to make a name for themselves. If you try to do something, you need to do for the right reasons, and that was not the right reason. And they had selfish ambition. Of course, they want to make it to heaven in any single way uh, possible, right? Do you agree, please? Yes. Let's see if there's more. That's it. Okay, it's time for game and activities. Yay! Okay. Let's see if we can have some. Oh, you're going to help me out in this one. So we have language, um, how you say hello and bye. In Yoruba, you want to try it, Daddy? Igbo, Hausa, French, Spanish, German, and Italy. Oh, but this is going to be interesting. Okay. How do you say that? In Yoruba. Hello. That's how you say hello. Ibo? Uno. Uno. Okay. In Hausa? Sanu. Sanu. Okay. Did I pronounce that? Okay. Sanu. Sanu. Okay. Bonjour. In French. Hola. Hola. In Spanish, hello. In German, hello. What about Italy? Ciao. Ciao. Okay. What about in Yoruba? Goodbye. Odabo. Odabo. In Igbo? Kaodi. That don't sound like, honey. Okay. Is it, that's how you pronounce it in Igbo? Okay. Let's try. In Hausa. Bankwana. Bankwana. I like that. In French? Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. I love that. Okay. In Adios, amigos. Adios. In German? <laughs> Try that. Uf, when did she? It looks like if you sneeze, that. Huh? <laughs> you want a tissue? Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Last one? Adios. Adios. Very good. Let's give him a round of applause. He did well. We can practice along with that too. All right. So, what? Looking at this, Pastor, what can you tell us about a prideful heart? Hmm. He says, "My opinion is better. I am right. Not just I am right. I'm always. I am always right. I am self-made. I am worthy." Know. Okay, I don't need any help. I'm worthy of honor. That means if anything, I deserve it. Nobody, I deserve it, right? Mm -hmm. What about I deserve better? Mm -hmm. 
Is there any uh, time when you were a child that you think you deserve better? Absolutely. So everybody goes through that. Mm -hmm. But what do we have to do to calm that? Grow out of it. Grow out of it. It's usually through experience, isn't mm -hmm. it? Okay. Experience will humble you. Will humble you. What about anyone include, uh, I don't need anyone including God to help me. Mm. The man that cannot be helped by God. That is. Has already lost. They are already lost completely. And these things, all this uh, thoughts and belief, I know you uh, thought about that in, uh, in a Friday teaching. Um, about, con uh, you know, like, con not controlling, um, guarding, your guarding your heart, and your thoughts, right? And if you don't guard it, it leads to sorrow, self-pity, anger, bitterness, envy, and jealousy, even hard heart towards God. Mm. What can you tell our kids today about that? Don't ever feel like you don't need anyone. Just like you need mommy and daddy now, you will need other people in the future. Most especially, you will need God to guide you through life. Yes. Don't ever forget that. Well said. Okay, kids, you heard it from Pastor. You need someone. And you're not alone. You can always talk to your parents. You can always talk to God, right? Awesome. Let's move forward. Okay. What does, this is, it's going to take time, so we're going to skip from this one. And, oh, you can help, you don't need to skip from it. So what does the Bible say about pride? God resists the proud, but gives the grace to the humble. How can you explain that to the kids? It means God does not like us to be proud. Thank you, Pastor. What about this? Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. It means that anyone that is prideful is going to end up destroying themselves. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. In other words, whoever trusts in their own abilities only is a fool. And mm. I know none of my children is a fool. That's right. You got but it. You have wisdom. Yes. And the Bible says if you walk in wisdom, you'll be delivered. And the Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So since you're a child of God, you have wisdom. Yay. That's absolutely right. Let's do one more. Okay, um, let's do this. The fear of the Lord is the is what is to hate evil, pride and arrogance, and the evil way and the uh, forward mouth. Do I hate? What does that mean from the books of Proverbs eight thirteen? Well, I said earlier that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yes. So wisdom is to hate evil. Gotcha. Whatever that is evil, if you know it is wrong, we, it's not something we're supposed to be doing. And we're supposed to hate pride. We're supposed to hate arrogancy because they are all evil before God. Thank you, Pastor. You look good with your glasses. Thank you very much. See, my glasses too, we're matching today. All right. Let's move forward. I don't have any hair. <laughs> I have hair. <laughs> okay. It's time for memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from James 3.16. Let's see if we can do this. Are you ready to help us, Pastor? Okay. Go ahead. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. What does that mean before we even start? That's a tough one. They might not understand. Maybe it's true. It's a tough one. It's a lot of words. Okay. But let's break it down one by one. Okay. They say where you have envy. What is envy? Almost like jealousy. You want to be like someone. Mm. Selfish ambition. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, just thinking about how your best interest. You're you're full of yourself, yourself. Yeah. And you're only looking out for yourself. For yourself. You're not looking out for your brother. You're not looking out for your sister. It's all just you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you. Me. Mm -hmm. That's what it means by selfish ambition. He said, the Bible says, where you have that, you're going to find disorder. And you're going to find evil practice. Because both of those things, envy and selfish ambition, they are not good for you. Yeah. We're supposed to be selfless and not selfish. In other words, we're supposed to care about others just as much as we care about ourselves. I care about you. <laughs> All right, memory verse, memory verse, memory verse. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and every evil practice. Take a look, take a look. Here we go. Let's remove some words. For where you have envy, did he get it right? Yes, he did. Okay, and selfish. Did he get it right? He said, of course. Selfish ambition. There you will find. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I got two. Yes, you got it. Disorder and every. Yeah. Uh, yes, you got it. I, oh, you don't like the way I did it? Okay, <laughs> okay. Is that better? Yeah, evil practice. <laughs> you can't, you can't act, honey. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You, did. you tried, you tried. He tried. Let's give him a round of applause. And where did we get that from? Starts with a J. You're not supposed to tell them. Oh. Ask for the S. <laughs> James 3.16. Yeah. We did it. And that is it for Sunday School. Sunday School with Pastor. He was so helpful today, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Would you like to round us up? <laughs> I like your smile. Which side do you like better? This side? This side? <laughs> would you like to pray for us thank yes. you okay. father we thank you for teaching us today thank you about what happened at the tower of Babel. we pray that you will not allow any one of us to be prideful amen will not allow any one of us to be full of envy amen in the name of jesus amen but help us to be humble Yes, Lord. Humble before you. Yes, Lord. Help us to be selfless. Yes, Lord. So that we can care for others. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for today's lesson, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. That is it for today. I hope you had fun. I know I did. I will see you next week. Say bye. Bye. No, you can say say that in bye. how do you do you still remember how you said it in uh no, no in german uh, <laughs> 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 oh, bye <down>. you guys <laughs>